Crash out like fuck rap. Yo, looking at this kid, he definitely says the N word by himself. <laughs> it's your local friendly neighborhood fan, boy. And dare I say, is hip hop back? I feel like with all this competitive nature, this competitive spirit in the air, I feel like hip hop is back, baby. Well, all except for one person. Jermaine. Yes. Cole. Yes. J. Cold. I mean, I mean J. Cold. Yeah, I, well, he pulled it. If, if you guys have been living in the rock, J. Cole dropped a, a, a decent a diss track to Kendrick Lamar off the a whole uh, Like That Metro Boom and Future uh, surprise this sneak attack to Drake and everyone that loves him. And he, he recanted his statement. And so we're gonna watch a video today about why J. Cole doesn't belong in hip hop anymore. Let's jump right into it. That's crazy how they're calling him J. Fold now. That is like absolutely nuts. But uh, yeah, this is a video by uh, Dupli. It's called J. Cole Doesn't Belong. So uh, yeah, let's jump into it. This man doesn't belong here. Besides the fact that sides are picked and insults are exchanged, one thing that has always made rap beef so exciting mm -hmm. is that our favorite artists are exposed to us in a way they've never been before. We finally get to see what these giants are really made of, how they respond to pressure, and how they compare against their peers. Well, now that the biggest artists of our generation have been tested, the results are in, and the conclusion so far, absolutely off, devastating. Up, yeah, yeah J. Cole. Hold on, can we can we back up a little bit? I gotta say, J. Cole really, really, J. Cole really screwed the pooch on this whole hip hop beef thing. Like I was really excited, even though if you guys ever find my old Twitter. Yes, I meant every word that I said about J. Cole. I've been a J. Cole hater since 2009, baby, and he doesn't disappoint of giving me things to hate on, bro. But like. I was so disappointed when he just folded like that because like I don't hate J. Cole because of like I, I love his music it's just I hate he doesn't go for the number one spot I hate that like he doesn't really he never to me in my opinion even with those luxurious bars about how he would demolish any rapper or MC right in this combat sport we call rap I never believed it bro I knew he didn't have it he wasn't he didn't have that dog in him I knew it and now I feel just as let down as his fans because, like, he proved me right. J. Cole doesn't belong here. Golf claps. Golf claps. Hey, you know what I was doing while I was away? Having... Oh, this guy. I've seen... I like his editing. Yeah, I've seen this guy. Fun. Rooftop ramp four. So I don't think people understand how devastating a blow. Where, where is this? What do you guys think this is? This uh, this doesn't seem like New York. The buildings are too tiny. Cole's character just suffered. So I'm gonna go back a little bit. All right, we're doing this like a real video essay. Welcome to the Patrick CC channel. Ever since you're not you're not Patrick. Wait, is he Patrick? You know, I can't say all the whites look alike, bro. Come on, I can't say that. Come on, man. Since the early 2010s, Kendrick, Drake, and J. Cole were hailed the big three of hip-hop. With one being more conscious and critically acclaimed, one having more of a pop mainstream appeal, and Cole being somewhere in between the two. It was like, it's like the big three is like Zelda's Triforce, you know? Like, they perfectly balance each other out. Like, you got the conscious rapper, like you said, you got the hit maker, like, in Drake, uh, and then you have J. Cole, you know, the, the bum the self-proclaimed middle child. Chuck now, since Cole never good. really excelled in either of these categories, he was consistently slept on and passed up in best MC conversations. This all- I want to pause this so much. I don't think J. Cole was slept on as much as people were just sleeping from his bars, bro. Always bothered <laughs> Cole, who felt like he was being Holy. disrespected and thought he deserved more recognition. Though as the years went by with Kendrick's absence and Drake's- yeah, I was never a fan of, uh, I, I was a fan of uh, J. Cole. 2014 Forest Hills Drive, amazing album, start to finish. But everything else is, you miss me with that hoopla, you know? Drop in quality, let's call it that. Yeah, a Drake has been dropping. Up for Cole to prove everybody wrong and show quality them stuff. just why he deserves the crown. And so he did. 
unleashing a relentless feature run unmatched by anyone else this he day. went on i a mean run. cole was doing his best 07 wayne impression killing everybody on their own track. that is true throughout that this is feature true. run cole's main talking point was i'm really the best rapper mm. okay none of these other rappers can fuck with me and if one of them tried <laughs> it wouldn't be pretty. That was what he was basically saying on every feature. Talk At last, he proved this point by teaming up with Drake and kill- Drake is only 6'2", I thought he was taller. But there, damn, J. Cole is old, man. We're all old here, it's okay. Killing him on his own track while proclaiming himself number one, the Muhammad Ali of rap. A lot of niggas depending, debating my numeral not the three, not the two, but the UNO. That was so, so much of a bar. And then he fumbled the bag, bro. J Old, oh no. <laughs> the go, him, Timothy. Hearing this, people were scrambling. Do people still to say that. List, with a lot of them having Cole first at this point. Jermaine Cole had finally sat on the throne. It took a while but he got there. Now, unfortunately for him, this didn't last for long. You know, rap is a competitive sport and uh, quickly Kendrick rose from the shadows to get his <laughs> crown back. You wow, Kendrick, bro. Drop, drop, drop. You make me sound like Drake. Back. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, come on. I hope they came with three switches. I crash out like fuck rap. Yo, looking at this kid, he definitely says the N word by himself for sure. For sure. Look how happy he is. Hey, I'm happy for him too. Kendrick calling out and challenging both Drake and Cole, reminding everyone ninja. of the ninja. You guys are bugging, he says ninja, bro. Ninja my left nut. That's crazy. Hey man. He makes good videos, I don't care. Put the pressure on Cole heavy to come up with a response. Cole was That's not an N-word pass, by the way. Challenge for the first time to prove that he's the best. And how did he respond? With a diss track of his own, okay. J. Cole's those are me for sure. Cole fight back. I like this beat though, still. I heard this, someone say, describe this. I think it was Joe Button that says uh, that this beat was a lotto type beat. That that took me out, bro. There's no way he said Lotto. Shout out to Lotto, her fine ass, bro. What's up? Say the word. Cole. Jermaine Cole. Why the fuck are you talking about extensions? Now, if you ask me, this track is really symbolic of the wave of false confidence Cole was riding on at that point. He had been hyped up so high into the clouds that he thought he could just waltz in, mm. socks and sandals on his feet, and socks knock and off a bona fide legend like him. In Kendrick. the chunklas, no bro. No effort. Bro. I feel like he really wrote this shit in seven minutes. I woke up in the morning and I got a call and somebody told me that somebody's dissing. Mm -hmm. And now I'm dissing them back on yeah. the track that you're hearing Get him, right Cole. now. You're Get him, dissing Cole. Kendrick Lamar in chronological order? Yes. Oh, Unky, it's over for you. While Kendrick took this beef personally, it was obvious right away that Cole's heart really wasn't in it. The whole track just kind of felt like him trying to win people over. <laughs> T-Pab is boring. Kendrick is boring. Right, fellow young people? That's crazy. Uh, bro, I love that meme. He should have added that meme. But like, bro, T-Pab is boring, bro. I think people's attention spans are just cooked. Like, they just like read a book. Holy. First of all, no way Cole even believes that, okay? He's only saying it to appeal to the little Tekka listeners. This is the lie I hate. I gotta say this on my last trip to Japan, uh, last November, I listened to Little Tekka on the airplane because for some reason his latest album was downloaded on my phone. It was one of the only phone, uh, the only uh, one of the only albums that was downloaded, and I like Little Tekka, bro. I don't, I don't know what you want me to do. For some reason. All right, man. Okay, man. Are you, are you happy with yourself? You see what you did? You, are you happy? 
hate the most, especially coming from Drake stands. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, bro. I'm going off topic. I know we're talking about Cole, but this is the Dupli channel, okay? If you want structure, go watch Sunny B2. I have to go off topic because it makes me angry. Hmm. Hey, go off, man. Imagine thinking that between Should we skip? It's a two minute rant. Should we should we skip or let him cook? We gonna let him cook. We gonna let him cook, bro. Might delete later, and for all the dogs, to pimp a butterfly is the boring one here. Bro, a trap beat and a yeet verse doesn't disqualify your uninspired 27 song album from Damn. being boring. I mean, Ooh. Drake, the guy whose biggest fan is literally known for falling asleep to his music. For an yo, 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 we got out. Oh my goodness. So, yo, shout out to Zyber. He showed me this uh, on stream yesterday. Holy shit, you guys have to see this. I'm sorry. Come on. What top five you smoking on, Kendrick? Cause my top five is Drake, 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 Drake. Mm. <laughs> that boy gone. Is that good sleep, boy? An eater of that caliber to be uninterested in your product? Holy. Shouldn't even be possible. Drake, the dude who said, You guys want real rap? I'll give you real rap. <laughs> and then he gets introspective over a six minute boom bap instrumental. Like Kendrick's idea of consciousness is actually the exciting one, the dynamic one here. His shit is not only deeper, but it's wavier, period. Yeah, yeah. More creative, period. More timeless, period. period. Not a conversation. Drake's gonna pull out one of them boring mid-tempo beats out of his file cabinet and reminisce about Chubb's side mission so folks on here can call it one of them ones. That's the boring stuff here. That's the boring music. Yeah, bro. Uh, Certified Lover Boy was whack. For all the dogs were whack. Her loss was cool. Uh, honestly, never mind was forgettable. Like, Drake has been putting up bricks. Uh, of course, they sell well because it's Drake. But, like, they have not been good. Kendrick would never do something like this. All right. I'm all and also, that E track that he had with Drake sound like two robots having sex, bro. Come on. Like, can we, can we not? Almost done writing. Give me, a, give me a second. He was always the quality over quantity guy. You're not going to judge him off his discography. People can go back to these records. You know that, right? Okay. Well, that's a well-constructed argument. Let me offer a rebuttal to that. Do they be playing him in the clubs, though? Okay, so when you put it like that, it makes sense. But just riddle me this one question. Who really want to be him, though? You you want to be him? You want to be Ken Like, nobody wants to be Kendrick like that. People want to be Drake. Nobody wants to be Kendrick. I only think uh, light-skinned Dominican men want to be Drake, if I'm honest. The ones with the beards. Like, who, who really want to be Drake like that, bruh? I'm pretty sure he has a dead tooth in the front as well. I mean, he's super rich though, so there's that. Yeah, okay, so logically, he's the better musician. Let me ask one more question. What's the last time you played Kendrick when you were with bitches outside in the whip, but in the club at the same time, and it was a sunny day? <laughs> exactly, <laughs> so he's trash. The whole track is a lie. Not because I didn't uh, believe so it's because good, Cole man. himself didn't believe what he was saying. He intentionally lied on someone for his own personal benefit. Now, even though you had some people siding with Cole, the mass consensus was that the I think I think Cole fans were delusional, bro. Like that—that that was the weakest. That was the weakest diss ever, bro. J Cole, here you have J Cole be like, "Yo, you're my dog," and I and like I understand your legacy, bro. We're brothers in this hip hop stuff, but I gotta, I gotta, I gotta address you, man. Your 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 album that won a Pulitzer Prize. First of its kind was boring. Take that. Was that? Uh, wait, wait. That was too much. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll apologize two days later. And on my own, my own festival, I will apologize to you, Kendrick Lamar. I'm sorry. I should have. I should have never. I. <laughs> that was outside of myself. Holy. Ah, fucking J Cole, man. There's no way. Kendrick this was better. Seeing the backlash he was receiving, Cole decided to do something unprecedented in the history of rap beef. 
apologize. He apologized. He folded. I'm going to sum this whole apology up for you. It's four minutes long. Let me sum it up. I didn't even really want to do the diss, but everyone else wanted me to. So I kind of had to do it. And the reactions helped me realize it was the corniest shit I ever did. I think Kendrick is amazing. And I take everything back. It's all love at the end of the day. Mm. It's two niggas that I just been blessed Man. to stand beside in this game, let alone chase, chase their greatness, right? Chase. Yes, he used that word. That's the thing. He used the word chase, bro. J. Cole admitted he's not the UNO, bro. He is the T H R E S. Nothing less. Is that Alexa? Spell three in Spanish. Hmm, I'm not sure. Alexa, spell the number three, but in Spanish. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Oh, did I put it? Oh, it's T R E S. Thank you. Thank you. I, I put an extra H in there. You know, I don't know. Chase their greatness while being the older man than both of them. Now, I don't know about you guys, but the last time I checked, in order to chase, you have to be behind someone exactly. and not in front of them. So you're the best rapper, but you're chasing two other rappers. It just, it's just not really making any sense. I feel like he's cucking himself and acting humble performative degree here. This is something Drake would tell you before throwing a sub only you would understand two weeks later. So the problem is not that he apologized, but that he single-handedly with one move managed to destroy every single claim he has ever made for the crown. Yeah. Cole, the aura you were building up this entire decade is gone now. You just made all your fans look crazy. Everyone who defended you crazy. Like bro, Tomato, tomato, tomato. I don't even know what to say. And if I'm Kendrick, There's I'm no showing. There's no way. There's no way you said Cuckville. Ain't no way. Hey, bro, JID's on Cuckville, bro. You gotta stop. JID is the truth. I think JID is the only. He's like the only like rapper, rapper of this new generation. Like, do you guys know any rapper, rapper of this new generation? I feel like JID is the only one of the only ones. Like, who, who else? You know who I think. Okay, so if J.I.D. is the new Kendrick Lamar, and I think that's what he is, right? Let's say J.I.D. is the new Kendrick Lamar. I would say um, Corday is the new J. Cole, bro. Like, can rap, but kind of lame. Corday is the new J. Cole, but then who's the new Drake? Let me know in the comments down below. I think the next big three <laughs> would be, it would be J.I.D., Four day because he can rap, but he's kind of lame. And then uh, we need, we just need one more for Drake. Harlow, Jack Harlow, it would be fitting, but Jack Harlow already folded, bro. Jack Holler, Harlow has been consistent, but like he gets a hit out of nowhere. Ew, that that's that's just a nasty big three, bro. Zero mercy. You can't try painting a false narrative, put it out there for everybody to see, and then when you don't get the reaction you thought you were gonna get, pretend like you didn't mean to do it. Oh, saw we? You're my brother. We're all brothers. Nah, nah. fuck you. Look, if yeah. this helps Cole be at peace, if it makes him happy, great. Happy for him. But just know that all that Muhammad Ali, nobody can fuck with me, go talk is over. Okay, you're finished. There's no conversation to be had. The best rapper alive would never do this. He never. wouldn't say something he doesn't want to say just for everyone else's approval. And he for damn sure wouldn't apologize for it. Essentially, the big three is history. There isn't an argument left for Cole at this point. And I predict there won't be one for Drake in a couple of weeks either. Oh my God. And apparently the apology just isn't enough because he just took inspiration from Kevin Durant and teamed up with the ops. Drake, bro, you know I rock with you. heavy and everything, but look, things aren't looking so good. We're down to Oh, yeah. There's a point of that sometimes, you know? Why even fight? Look at him. Bro. All right, so I'm going to leave you to it, bro. Be safe. Stay safe. Cole, you can't be serious at this point. He somehow managed to display an unprecedented lack of backbone, courage, and loyalty all in the span of one week. If we're talking hip-hop, these are like deadly sins. 
I, I just remember, but he's a born sinner. Holy, but J. Cole's a born sinner and he committed the deadly sin of hip hop. In his defense, he probably didn't know all the Drake enemies would be on the album. Maybe, because like, you know, like he didn't like, they probably had that track. Red Leather leaked uh, along like a year ago or a year or two ago. Like it's all over YouTube, like the, the version with just Future. And so, yeah, in his defense, uh, he probably didn't know it was going to end up on this project or the previous project, right? We don't trust you and we still don't trust you. But as uh, Dupli was talking, it just hit, it just occurred to me. J. Cole is Cheddar Bob. J. Cole is Cheddar Bob, bro. He spoke that hot shit. He pulled out the, you know, he pulled out the blam. And then what did he do? He shot himself in the foot, bruh. He shot himself in the foot. J. Cole is Cheddar fucking Bob, bro. Holy. Hate to see it. Hate to see it. We cracked the cold. We cracked the cold. I don't know if his reputation is ever gonna recover, if I'm being honest. Hey, I know Cole's PR team is working quadruple shift right now, sweating bullets. <laughs> Here's the biggest problem for Cole. He's not hip hop. He wants to be, he's been trying to be, but he's not. Even though his sound is very old school hip hop, his mentality is the core, anything yeah. but. Mentally, I feel like he shouldn't even be here. I feel like he should be <laughs> somewhere in Amsterdam riding bikes, growing his own garden, or I don't know, playing the flute in the streets of Vancouver. But hip hop Damn. is such a competitive sport that he was forced to adopt the image of someone who is competitive. He likes the aesthetic of it, but he doesn't like the reality. And I don't think he's been trying to hide it either. He may have just not realized it up until this point. He doesn't have that killer mentality. His he don't got that dog in him. He didn't got the mamba mentality, bro. Like, he, do he just don't got it, bro. His killer mentality is fabricated. I kept a tough demeanor on the surface, but was mostly just pretending. Luckily, my bluff was working way more often than not. But sometimes somebody pulled my card, trying to expose me for a fraud. And with my reputation at there stake, I was scuffling just a safe face. There it is. Couple wins, couple losses, some broken up too quick to call it. Fire song, by the way. There's no way all of this transpired without him realizing or even thinking to himself, hey, maybe you're not that guy and there's yeah. something to be said for realizing you're not that guy cole you're an artist you're not just a rapper write something about that because i know you're feeling it okay i know it don't try to hide it what if you're not well maybe this is all because his next project his next project is called the fall off right so maybe this is all just like a persona that he's been portraying right the lead up and all like the feature run killing everything he's like yes i gotta become i gotta make people believe that i believe that i'm the top guy and then i'm gonna apologize when this beef inevitably happens and then i drop the fall off maybe this is all just a weird album promo I, I think it's whack as fuck, but you know, maybe. When we get in a fanboy diss track, I don't know, somebody diss me on wax and I'll reply right back. Lickety splat. Oops, I mean lickety split. You know I'm legit. They don't want none of this. Mm -mm. Ron, what if you're Paul George? How does Paul George feel? Fuck the fall off. That's what the name of your next album is. <laughs> Paul George. Still, the fact remains, the man is better than 99% of the rap game. And he's accomplished more than any of us critiquing from the sidelines. J. Cole might be a method that actor. Stands. Hell yeah. Listen, I don't know about best rapper, but there's definitely an argument to be made that J. Cole is the realest rapper, okay? Someone that's truly vulnerable. I don't mean cool anime backstory vulnerable. <laughs> no, I mean folding laundry coming prematurely. I want to fold. The uncool kind. Yeah. That's real vulnerability no one else is going to give you, okay? That's what he strives at. Him fighting for the top isn't even consistent with that mantra. I really hope Cole knows this because he needs that bicycle mentality now Hell more yeah. than ever. Cole Just has built his it. reputation by being honest and truthful with his fans. Him being the greatest is the biggest lie he was forced to believe. I love you, big fan, but you're going to have to let that one go. Ah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Shout out to Duplee, W video, W editing, W video. I always said this, 
And I think it rings more and more true the as as we see the shenanigans of J. Cole unfold. J. Cole is the biracial rapper Logic wishes he could be. And I stand by that. But let me know what you guys think about this video. It's been your local friendly neighborhood fan. See you in the next one. Ain't no fucking way.